2017 and I've had my first good production run in 25 years. A lot of new pieces bisked. And yeah, in this drawer here I went for a, a file to sharpen the chainsaw and packed away many years ago, completely forgotten about. Mini jugs. And some little mini vases. Oh wow, they're even dated. Um, 86, 1986. So we'll get those out and dusted off and fired. Um, but the bisqueware is stacking up and I do need to get some glaze pieces in the kiln. pieces glazed. My tests are pieces giving me some idea of what I'm going to get. Um, and another bisque kiln to unpack. It's um, a bit cold in here today. It's good having the pottery right where you live so you can come out early in the morning and unload it to get another one loaded. Um, yeah, it's still a little bit warm in here. Um, the second size on the double bowls. And, um, yeah, if they thought the double bowls were too expensive, I made some little single serving bowls to go with them. I usually do bigger runs, but just to have a couple of everything, a couple batter bowls. And somebody's crazy idea, but I thought I'd try it. Yarn bowls. So actually I did four of the bowls, and two were batter, two were yarn bowls. See, they do warp a little bit, I think. I fired them in the bisque top down. We'll see what happens in the glaze. Oh, another tea ball. And I thought I just finished glazing all of those. I didn't put quite the foot on there I would have liked. And my pie plates. The first ones I put a slip decoration in the bottom. But um, the glazes just weren't letting that show through, so these are going to be just glazed. And the smaller double bowls. A dozen and half a dozen of those. A soggy jar. Okay, the larger novelty pig. <laughs> Mission piece for some bonsai pots. Okay, this is something I've never known before. The drainage and then the smaller holes for tying down the, the plant. still warm. Um, enough to work out here since it's uh, about 50, 50 in here. Um, maybe, uh, yeah, we'll get the glaze pieces in here now.